Can you guys guess what I'm about to do at Best Keto Kitchen? I was gifted a ton of these beef bones and so I am going to go ahead and make some homemade bone broth and I'm using the recipe from Mary's Nest. You can find her on YouTube. Alright, stay with me. Okay, so these are the marrow bones. So I'm going to go ahead and put the marrow bones in my crock pot here. And I just have a bunch of different sized ones and some even just the little ones. So we'll get those in and let's see, probably this one too. This one too. And then I'm just going to pour some water where these are big bones. I don't think my lid's going to work. Just to cover them. I think that's good and then to that I'm going to add a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar and I have the organic apple cider vinegar with the mother so I'm just going to shake that up and do a quarter cup And that is supposed to help leach out the collagen out of this. All right, I'm not turning it on yet. I'm just gonna let those sit while I roast the other bones for about 45 minutes, and I'll show you that process. So the rest of these bones that are a little bit meatier, I honestly um, do not know what kind of bone they are, but you can see them here. And I'm going to put these in the oven for about 45 minutes to brown them up. Okay, so these other bones have been roasting for about an hour. And I'm just going to put them in the water here some of these might just be too big actually to even fit in my crock pot so maybe I can get this one on here All right, so I have some onions, carrots, celery, and romaine, and I'm just going to put some of that in here. I am going to put in the bay leaf and the peppercorns. Let's get the celery in here. And I'll have to just cover this with foil because these bones are too big. There we go. Then I'm going to go ahead and add some more water in here just to fill. That looks good. And I'm going to turn my crock pot on high. And I'll put it on high for one hour. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn it down after one hour to just keep warm. There, I think that will work. Because you don't want it to boil because then it will break up the collagen properties and then it won't be gelatinous. And we want a gelatinous beef bone broth. All right, so we've been going for about an hour on high. So now I'm going to turn it down to just the keep warm setting minus serve. And I'm going to just let that go for 12 hours. It's been going for about 14 hours. 
I am just going to check it. Ooh. I am thinking that that is perfect. So I'm going to fish these vegetables out of here. Let me just get things resituated a little bit. So I just wanted to point out the marrow bones and that marrow is like the caviar of the beef world. So be sure to save that. You could mix it in with your soup or your broth or you could just eat it with a little bit of sea salt. I'll also be sure that I include the recipe below and I will also include the link to Mary's Nest. Bones and the vegetables out of the broth. I have a strainer here and my glass Pyrex bowl. I also have a cotton flour sack type dishcloth, and if you have cheesecloth, that would work as well. So I'm going to put that in here to strain um, all the little pieces out of the broth so that we have a clear broth. All right, so here is the strained broth, as you can see there. So that is a beautiful, clear liquid. And the um, I do not have a fat separator, so what I will do is now put this in the refrigerator probably overnight, and then tomorrow morning I will have the tallow on top, and I will go ahead and remove that tallow from the top in the I transfer to some jars here that I'm going to put these in my refrigerator now and you can already see that the fat is coming to the top here right there so then tomorrow that will all be hard it will be the hard beef tallow and I'll take that out and I will save that to use for frying. Let the broth sit in the refrigerator overnight and as you can see the fat has hardened now, if you wanted to keep this broth in your refrigerator and you wanted it to stay fresher for each time that you use it, you could actually leave the fat on top and not skim it off right now. But I'm just going to skim it off to show you. And that is your beef tallow. And I am going to save that beef tallow because then you can use it for frying later. So um, we'll just take a little bowl and we'll take this off because I want to show you how gelatinous that broth is. Um, and it's a little bit of a challenge to get that out of there because it's pretty hard. You can see that. And my broth isn't as dark as it could have been. I did roast some of the bones, not the marrow bones, but the other bones. I roasted in the oven, as you know. All right, you guys can see how gelatinous that broth is. That is so good for you. All of that collagen, all of that goodness, so good for your body, for decreasing inflammation for your joints. I hope that you enjoy this video. Thanks so much for watching everyone. If you're enjoying my channel, please consider subscribing, hit like, and also press the notification bell so you're aware of each time I upload a new recipe. Have a great day.